Okay, I'm doing thrust four, which is inducing. Um, so I've got our patient here. Um, she's been on oxygen for about six minutes now. Um, we always want to make sure we pre-oxygenate for about five to seven minutes. Um, so I'm just going to double check um, the um, what we're using to induce is propofol. So there goes of three mg per kg. So I already did that calculation. That's the 7.35. So I'm going to verify that's correct and make sure there's no air bubbles, which there aren't. Um, I've got some heparinized uh, saline. This is a rate of 1 to 100 for flush. So I'm going to go ahead and flush her real quick to make sure that the catheter is just easy with at least two mils. Okay, so before I start um, actually inducing, I want to double check that I've got all my supplies I need. So I've got my size 10 um, ET tube. I've got a 9.5 if needed, um, but we already checked her. She should be about a 10. Um, I've got some line to tie her in, um, my 12 mil syringe for inflating the cuff, um, flush, of course, and then I've got some eye lube for her as well. Um, so we'll you know, double check, get everything ready, so we'll go ahead and start. So I'm going to have my sister here hold her and keep her on oxygen while we're doing this. So the propofol I'm going to give um, to effect. So usually we start off, we do it pretty slowly, and we'll give about half of this. Okay, so now we're going to check her draw tone real quick. So she's done. She's definitely going to need some more. Put her oxygen mask back on. We'll probably give about another fourth of this and check again. still got a pretty good drop in, so we'll go ahead and give the rest of this. So now I'll flush her catheter again. Go ahead and her. Okay, so now I'm going to have my tech pull her mouth open and I'm going to pull her tongue out. So I'm going to push the soft palate up, pull the epiglottis down, view the laryngeal folds, and insert it. So now I just want to double check that she's in, that she's breathing. And so that tube is fogging up and put her oxygen back up. And she's only got one tube, so I'll go ahead and tie her in. So now we're going to want to inflate her cuff, so we're going to want to make sure that she's straight and her neck is extended. So I'm going to have an assistant, we're going to close the pop-off valve, and then she's going to hold pressure on the reservoir bag, um, and I will inflate the cuff. So I'm going to inflate it until I don't hear a leak anymore. Before. So there we go. So we want to make sure that there's no leak um, right around 20 centimeters of water. Um, so now she, we're going to turn her um, isoflurane on, keep her um, oxygen around 1.8 um, to maintain her. And so now we can start prepping her for surgery.